Hey guys, so since 13th of January, GoPro has finally introduced a new firmware update to GoPro Karma drone. And if you couldn't fly a drone due to a lack of GPS signal, they finally fixed it. So in this video, I'm going to update my GoPro Karma, show you all the procedures that uh, has to be taken care of. And once that's gonna be done, I'm hopefully gonna take this baby back in the air. If you are new to this channel, my name is Tomas Nowacki and I make videos uh, focused on GoPro. So if you are interested in the, that content, consider subscribing. All right, so without further ado, let's prepare a GoPro Karma drone and the Karma controller and proceed with the update. All right, so we prepared our Karma drone and Karma controller. And from here, let's go to our available updates in the upper corner. And let's go down and see Karma Drone version 2.5.01 yeah new features updates world magnetic model let's click update now it's actually a second time I've been doing it because before I had uh, a small error and I had to undergo uh, this procedure a second time Software updated successful and the camera is back on and let us see if this time everything's working fine. So let's click on, click on devices. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let us let us reboot the whole um, the whole drone because I see it's turning back on and off. Okay, let's try again. Okay, appears that I probably have to disconnect and reconnect everything back again. Okay, so let's do it. So let's turn it off and reconnect Powering it again. Off. Alright, so the Karma controller is on and let us see if everything is updated. Okay, install updates. You see that camera is up to date, stabilizer is up to date, drone is up to date and controller is up to date as well. So let's close it. Alright, so we are at the location. This is an open area, actually a football pitch. There is literally no obstructions, no metal interference, nothing uh, of this sort. So the drone should have no problem. Let's uh, take this thing back in the air. Step one is finished. Alright, step one is finished. Let's rotate the drone upward. Now, I'm not sure if it's uh, actually visible, but uh, the power mode button is indicating red, so it's acquiring GPS location. Ready to fly. All right, we just got indication that it's ready to fly and the power mode button is indicating green. So it's a good sign and we can uh, try to fly the drone. Three, two, one. All right. Alright, so it's working as you see. Let's see if everything is correct, works fine. Let's go left, let's go right. Maybe up and down a little bit. Oh, 
I heard that some people said that it's actually more stable than it was. So let's just test it out, the hovering. Well, I wouldn't say that uh, it's improved in this department. All right, let's take it for a quick flight. Well, for me, it seems okay. Alright guys, so it seems that GoPro Karma is finally back in the air. There is no problem whatsoever. I tested out. Some of the people say or claim actually that uh, uh, it's hovering a little bit more stable than before. I'm not sure if that's the case. Perhaps I have to fly this thing a little bit more. Uh, it's working for me just fine. I updated it. I had to actually undergo update uh, like two times because uh, for the first time I had a failure. And the second time, I had to disconnect and reassemble the whole unit. All right, so if you like this content, guys, uh, as always, uh, subscribe to my channel, stay tuned for more, like this video, and see you in the next one.